guys, okay, so today's video, I'm finally gonna do the DIY how to make your own abeya video. I'm very tired, but I'm doing this for you guys. Bear in mind I'm fasting and every time I get up I feel dizzy, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You know, just, just take notes. I'm only joking. Now this is for beginners, and I mean like beginners, so if you've never seen a sewing machine, if you've never seen a pattern, if you've never even considered making anything before in your life, this is very, very beginners, and it's a very, very basic um, abeya style. Um, but hopefully once you've got the hang of this, which should take you the first go, then you will be able to um, try it again, maybe with a few changes, doing a little bit more complex with more of a style rather than just a bleh, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry it took so long, but just remember you can use this idea for Eid if you wanted to buy um, fabric that isn't just plain black, like you would for Abeya, and um, use it to make a Eid dress, especially if you get the hang of it straight away and then you some people they can just look at something and be able to work out how to change it up that's usually what i do but maybe once you've done this and you look at it you'd be like oh maybe if i chop this bit up and then do this i'd be able to have a sleeve here and a tight bit here and a this and a that so hopefully you're one of those people and you'll be able to sort something out for yourself aid with a nicer fabric okay one more person tells me to take my glasses off in the comments i will punch something okay now i didn't take them off just then because Somebody said I'm taking them off because they're making my face sweat, okay? So, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a fabric of your choice and a pair of scissors as well as some needles, uh, pins, sorry, but I forgot to show you that. So if you're about my height, you're going to need about three meters of the fabric of your choice. Here I am showing you guys the width and the length of it, okay? I'm approximately 167 centimeters, by the way. Eh. So what we're going to do now is going to fold over the length of the fabric in half so that it's um, one piece and then I'm just measuring it against myself to see if the width is going to be wide enough to cover my arms basically. Okay now we're just folding over the width, um, doubling over and then we're going to place it on the floor so that we can cut the hole out for the head. Remember all of these, I haven't really taken any measurements, I'm just guesstimating because I usually make these really quickly. So hopefully you guys will be able to do the same. Just laying it on the floor. Have a little dance in between. So here we are cutting. There's my little guesstimate. This is what I usually do anyway. So here we go. As you can see, um, we've made a hole for your head to go through. Uh, so you can see it's coming into the shape already, which is just a big rectangle. Those are what your arms are gonna look like. Now you're gonna measure the um, size of your wrist and then you're going to do the sleeves. So my wrist came up to about seven inches, I believe. So on the actual abeya, I'm going to um, only measure 3.5 because remember the fabric is doubled over. Okie dokie, here we go. So that's what I'm doing there, measuring it, yes. Really, you should be um, tacking it all before you sew it, but we're lazy, so don't worry. So there I'm pinning where the measurement was. And now what I'm gonna do is measure the middle section of my waist, which is hopefully going to be a very small area. And then I'm going to estimate it somewhere around the waist of the abeya and pin on either side. So if you have a look there, I'm just estimating because the fabric is black and we're only going to wear this, you know, it's like Tarawi or something. And then I'm going to use scissors and cut alongside the length of the pin downwards a thin hole just on the first layer, obviously, of the fabric. And we're going to do that on the other side as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do basically is sew the sides of the abeya um, all the way down to the bottom, and then hopefully we're gonna try and um, make the hems neat by folding them over, as well as the holes we put in the waist, just folding them over double and um, sewing along the edges. Hopefully you can see it's a little bit um, not clear, but you know, hopefully you can tell. Um, yes, that's what I'm doing here, I'm also being a little bit of a weirdo right now. Sorry about that, guys. If you don't know how to set up your sewing machine, hopefully you can get your mum or your grandmother or your dad to help you and um, set it up on a straight stitch as well because that's the easiest one to start with. Also, don't lose concentration and sew your finger either. Alrighty then. Okay, so here's me attempting a close-up of what I mean when I say neating up the edges. So I folded it over by like one centimetre and then again by another centimetre and then sewing along it. 
Okay, now all that's left to do is basically style your eyebay out and goof around with it. I've used a really chavy Moschino or Moschino, however the hell you pronounce it, belt to really Arabify it. Alrighty then, so there we go. You can obviously choose to use any other belt. Here's the back of the abeya, so it's very loose and then the idea is for, you, for it to give you a little bit of a teeny waist at the front. I will wear it for you guys and take photos um, in a few days inshallah. Okay, try using different fabrics for a more summery look if you want to make a different age dress. Try, of course, um, different styles out as well once you've got the hang of this. And that's all, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it really, really helped you. Um, what I just want to say is that on the Lazy Doll Facebook fan page, I am going to be doing a Ramadan competition. Um, so if you watch this video carefully, what I want you guys to do is attempt making your own abeya. It doesn't have to be out of black fabric. It can be a patterned fabric. It can be something snazzy. It doesn't have to be the same style I did it. It can be something totally different. Um, and then I want you guys to take pictures of yourselves styling your masterpiece um, with a lazy doll scarf that you may have purchased in the past. Or if you don't want to take photos of yourself and put them up online because you're not comfortable with that, then what you can do is make a collage. And if you've never purchased a lazy doll scarf before, then you can take the lazy doll pictures and put them in the college collage of how you would style your abeya that you made slash dress. Okay? Um, now, if you really don't think you are going to be able to do any of the sewing and are just not even going to attempt it then feel free to take part in the competition just by styling <clears throat> your own abeya slash kaftan slash whatever um that you already own because i don't want anyone to you know not be able to take part so you have until basically the last week of ramadan which is Okay, basically you have until the twin. No, hold on. You have until the first of August to enter, which gives me time to pick a winner and to get a nice Aid goodie bag sent out to the winner. Okay, so that's on facebookcom forward slash online. Enter on there, and there are no rules other than you have to enter and what I just said. Okay, so first of August. Good luck to everybody, and um, thanks for watching. Till next time, keep it covered. Peace.